Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. In this case is what I consider the best M&P 9 to date. It's an arguable point, there are many of them and I haven't shot them all, but I literally picked this up, took it to the range, and then making this review. That's how fast it went. I didn't even clean it or anything. So what are we talking about? Well, it was released about two weeks ago and what we have here is an M&P 9 metal carry comp with a compensated slide and barrel. There's the port right there. It's a full-size handgun. It is super cool. I shot it real well. I put about a box and a half of ammo through it and came right back here and making this review so you guys could see it. But what is also in the case is an additional 17 round magazine, two additional back straps. Okay, so there are two in there. And then this cleaning kit right here that I think is very, very much a nice touch to throw a cleaning kit in there. I like that. There's paperwork, everything else. You've, you've seen that. But one thing they also offer are six different optic plates and we're going to talk about that because that is pretty cool now smith and weston sent this to me didn't use my money the forward slide serrations are very deep cut if you could see those they are very deep cut as well as the rear slide serrations and i i like forward serrations i'm one of those guys that do press checks also has a lightning cut right there at the top strap and a night sight all right, that is moved forward away from the gas port. Now this gas port is on top of the barrel, Armonite finished barrel, that will divert the gases upward, making very little recoil. And that I can attest to because when I was at the range, I took it out of the box and shot it very well right out of the case. No learning curve or anything like that. And so you look at those slide cuts, you look at the frame that is metal okay that's why it's an mp9 metal carry comp this is metal this grip and back strap i should say and the front strap is polymer but it is very aggressive as well so when you grip this it just really really digs into your hands you don't want to squeeze that too hard but it's a nice looking handgun it performed very well I have to say and I was very much impressed with it out of the case the rear sights are serrated black it's got a U in there so when you align that night sight in there it is pretty dead nuts 4.2 inch barrel that is compensated three slot picatinny rail 17 round mags and now let's talk about that trigger because this is a performance duty trigger now they have been going more and more in this direction. It's a flat trigger. It breaks right at three and a half pounds. It's measured consistently on my scale at three and a half pounds right there. So as it resets, not audible at all, but it's a short reset. It breaks at three and a half pounds. Okay, I measured it several times just to get an average. I like the way it looks. I like the way it handles. Now, the compensator flies upward. So if you run an optic on there, as you can see, it's clearly optic ready, then it shouldn't interfere with your optic. And I used to say, you know, I've never had issues with gases hitting my, my optic. Well, recently I have. And I've had to wipe, wipe down the optic because it was foggy. Now let's talk about the optic plates. These will fit a variety of optics. They are plastic. All right, so they they will install on there. I don't know if there's going to be an issue with plastic versus metal. I think metal's better, but most of the time when you get a handgun, you get a you get one metal. Here you have uh, did I say six, seven different optic plates because they're labeled one through seven. You have seven different optic plates and. You could use a variety of optics on there, and, and that, that's pretty cool. I have other optic plates that are plastic, and they work fine, all right? I don't know if you're going to drop your gun and really jar the optic if it could break off one of those posts, but maybe not. But there it is. It's new. You're asking how much is it you're looking at. MSRP, $999. Now, they make another model 
also with a 4.2 inch barrel, but it is polymer framed, 15 round magazines, and that is $7.99, 800 bucks. But let's go ahead and check it out because we'll lock the slide back because we want to take a look at the internals here. And we will take a look. There is the metal. This, if somebody told me this was polymer, I would believe them. But this is an aluminum frame. And here we have a single captive recoil spring and the 4.2 inch ported barrel. All right. And you can see there the slide, all right, the way, the way it works. I have been waiting for the perfect Smith handgun for me. I think this is it. I really do. Oh, and by the way, that's all shipping grease. I didn't even clean it. And I think this is it because I really like the way it handles. When I when I took this to the range, I, I really did well with it. Well, I didn't do as awesome as I would if I put a, a red dot on there. But I plan to do that eventually. So the unloaded weight is one pound nine and one eighth ounce. We move it to just ounces, 25 and one eighth ounce. If we add 17 rounds, we will see that it is at 31 and three eighths. We'll put a, whoop, one of the rounds is, we'll put a carry 32 and a half. Now just for reference, 32 and a half loaded with 18 rounds. Let's put a SIG P226 on there and see what that's weighing in at. 39 and 7 8 ounces so just shy of 40 ounces so this is, it has an aluminum frame and this has an aluminum frame let's take a look at the slide to frame fit little room there not a lot and not a lot it's pretty tight and also the slide stop, see how that sticks out a little bit? All right, so when the slide's locked back, you just hit that down and it is ambidextrous. And the magazine release can be switched over to the other side as well. I think this is a nice handgun. I, I really enjoyed it at the range. I think once I put an optic on there, I will enjoy it even further. I think they did a great job with this handgun. I was waiting for a good one and I got it right here it's called the M&P 9 metal carry comp it's new from Smith & Wesson MSRP about a grand I did a quick search you're looking at at this current time being that it's fairly new you're looking at about 950 all right for the for the metal frame okay aluminum and there are people out there that will say give me a metal gun I don't want anything to do with that fantastic plastic whatever the case this thing is pretty cool. I look forward to putting an optic on there and showing you a little more range footage to show off its capabilities. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.